Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Plus Build Series with me, Vanilla Raccoon. And in this episode, what I'm going to show you how to build is the official Chocolate Beaver uh, Battle Tower. And for those of you who do not know what it is that I'm talking about in regards to Chocolate Beaver, Chocolate Beaver is something that started in my uh, Useless Gamers Attack of the B-Team modded Minecraft server series. And basically, to make a long story short... Um, Hold on a second, I want to make sure I'm getting this right. To make a long story short, Chocolate Beaver is a fictional character, uh, much like how Herobrine is, and yeah. So, uh, if you're not, if you haven't already, I encourage you guys to check out my Raccoon Returns, uh, my Raccoon Returns series here on my YouTube channel, because that is basically like a story a Minecraft lore type of thing and in that right now it's building up to Chocolate Beaver um, but yeah so I'm going to be showing you how to build the official Chocolate Beaver battle tower um, you want to make these eight tall so this is one two three four five six seven wait one two three four five six seven eight okay there we go there we go there we go okay um, I just want to make sure that I'm building all of this correct though for you guys. So what you're going to do is, if I remember correctly, uh, bam, 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 and then bam. So why don't we go ahead and clear this out. Oh, we got places here. Um, bam, 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 bam. Do a little dance. Get down tonight. Ooh, ooh, get down tonight. <laughs> um, can I place you? There you go. Okay, so now that we got that out of the way, what we're going to need now is uh, anvils, and then we're going to need some cobblestone walls. No. Anvils go like this. Bam. Whoops. Bam. 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 And then bam. Oops. No, wait, no. <clears throat> so this is your base, pretty much. Now, uh, let me see here. One, two, three, four, five, I believe it is. Actually, no. Wait a minute. Okay. So... On the fifth high up block, what you want to do is then place dark oak logs like this. And this is sort of going to act as, whoops, this is going to act as your, like, support for the, uh, not roof, for the flooring up here. And then you're going to fill in the space here with some spruce slip slabs. So then you should have something that looks like this. Now, we're going to build this going all the way up, and, oh, excuse me, um, I will say this much right now, you're going to use up a lot of fence posts, along with a lot of fence gates, and if you're playing Minecraft on the PC, and it's past, I think, 1.8, where they gave you different, uh, color schemes for the fence posts and fence gates you're going to be using spruce as your main thing so with that for example you're going to go ahead and do something like this and the reason why I decided to use fence gates here is because I thought well you know what what's a way that I can show something having some support whoops having some support uh, beams columns whatever you want to call them what's a way that like can represent support for something going vertical and we've all seen people using like fence posts cobblestone walls and other types of stuff maybe stairs um, but I sort of when I was tinkering around with this design I sort of came across the whole well you know what um, using fence gates seems to not be original because I'm pretty sure someone had someone else somewhere did this but it to me at least it looks cool so I thought I would share this idea with you on the fifth block high up on the outside of these main pillars here you're gonna replace this fence post don't worry about placing fence post there uh, you're gonna instead place some spruce 
inverted, upside down, whatever you want to call it, uh, stairs. And then on top of these spruce stairs, you're going to place some more spruce fence gates. And if you're playing on any version of Minecraft or any platform of Minecraft that does not have uh, different color schemed fence posts and fence gates, well, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> so this is what we have so far. And now what we're going to do I believe it goes something like this. Um, do, 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 one, two, three. Oops, one, two, three. And so I quickly went into my other world where I had this built at and I figured out real quick, I saw what was wrong. So we're going to just temporarily place uh, spruce logs here and right here we're gonna place some upside down inverted what have you uh, spruce stairs and then what we're gonna do is then we're gonna that we are then going to remove the block and on the upper half of that block space you're just gonna place a spruce slib slab um, and then on the back of the normal placed spruce stairs you're gonna place some spruce slib slabs and then from here, you're going to bring it in, you're going to, and then you're going to connect the corner pieces on this layer of the roof. And let me just go ahead, reset the time. Three, two, one. Terribly sorry for that cut again, you guys. Um, I have my hotkey. Uh, real close to the number zero and I thought I had placed it. I mean I placed it. I thought I had hit it But thankfully I did not so now what we're gonna do here, right? Is we're just gonna whoops. We need that actually. We're just gonna go ahead bring something along like this eh. Okay, there we go. And we're gonna bring it all the way whoops, out to here And then you're gonna bring something like this Oops <laughs> And there you go. So next up, what we're going to do is we're going to cover up the ugly inside part of the cutoff tree, whatever, and we're going to place an upside down stair, inverted, whatever, with spruce slip slab. And then here's the kicker, all right? Um, we're going to grab some cobblestone slip slabs, spruce stair. We're going to grab, whoops, not that. We're going to grab a nether rack block and then we're going to light this bad boy up. So right here in the middle we're going to place it like a so. We're going to place this right here. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. You following me camera guy? <laughs> and so this is what you're basically going to have for your tower. And now what you're going to do is you're just going to light it up and there you go. Oh, that's not supposed to happen. I apologize for all of these cuts, but please bear with me. Uh, it's been a really long day uh, shooting photos for work and um, also catching up on YouTube videos because just yesterday I had a power outage and was not able to resume my YouTube videos for today so I had to um, do a lot of making up for it but anywho you guys uh, so this is what you're actually gonna do with your roof um, let me just see here real quick I'm gonna place a stair like this I mean a stair a slip slab just temporarily because then I'm gonna place a fence gate on top of this and then what you're going to do is you're going to do this on each and every side. And mainly at this point, the fence gates are not going to act as support for anything. They're, at this point, they're just minor aesthetic details that will finish off the build and also make help make it look cool. At least to me. So now, uh, now that we got that finished off, we're then going to place fence, ga fence gates on top of the upside down, inverted, what have you, spruce stair. 
and that is actually going to do it this time. So now we have a moment of truth to see. There we go. So now we're going to have a moment of truth to see if the fire will spread. And we're just going to give this a quick little few seconds. And if it doesn't, then congratulations. You can now build the official Chocolate Beaver Battle Tower. It works. Okay, you guys. So that's going to do it. Um, let me actually go ahead and change the time. <gasps> no, the fire spread. Why it do this? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did the time even change? No. Okay. So, you know what? Scratch it. We're not going to have it lit here. I apologize and I'm not and it's really late. And overall, this is what the build is going to look like. So, here you go. <laughs> um, also, real quick, while I was thinking about it, I meant to do this earlier. Right beneath these dark oak logs, you're going to have upside down, inverted, what have you, spruce stairs to then help support holding them up and everything. Other than that, you guys, that is actually going to do it for this episode and this build. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, there we go. So this is what it's going to look like at night. And if you would, oops. And if you would like to light it up, this is how you can do it. Uh, by just placing a torch mainly in these little corner areas. Nowhere specific. Oh wait, that's a slab. That's why it's going like that. Okay. So, other than that, folks, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, peeps, this is Vanilla Raccoon. Peace out.